you for quiz five. I think it's week um, 20, March 23rd. Um, this quiz has to do with, has a few problems on it. It has to do with fractions, fractional parts of things. And the first question talks about two different lots of land, lot A and lot B. So this is A from here to here, and this is B from here to here, and they're the same size. But it says on lot B, 40% of it had cotton planted on it. So I divided up each lot into five strips. So, so if you divide it up into five strips, each little strip's 20%, right? So 40% would be two, two of those little strips. And then for lot B, it says 60%, was uh, cotton. So that would mean three of these strips would be shaded. So they wanted to know what percentage of the combined lot has cotton planted on it. So you can't just say 40 plus 60 is 100 percent. It's You can tell it's not 100 percent, right? So what you got to do is combine this these two lots into one. So instead of five little strips in each one, there's 10 little strips in both. And then how many of the little strips are shaded? two there and three there, right? So that means 50% of total is cotton. So it's gonna be a problem like that where you have to combine the areas. Um, the second part of the quiz has to do with fractions too, and there are questions and they're gonna, they're gonna give you a situation and you have to say whether or not um, it was solved by, you can solve for the first one, this cake was a half, I, um, I should say cup there, half cup cheese, sorry, half a cup of cheese on pizza with only sauce on it, only had sauce on it. Then she puts on another one third cup. How much cheese is on the pizza? Would you solve that by going a half plus a third? I think you would, right? Because there was a half, was an empty pizza. You put a half cup on, then you put another half, third cup. A half plus a third, that would be a yes. How about a second question? Kate puts a half a cup of cheese on this empty pizza. Then she puts on another third, one third. How much cheese is on the pizza? So do you guys see like a little difference between this problem and that problem? Like this problem says she puts on another one third cup. This says she puts on another third. What do they mean? a cup or do they mean a third of what was already there like a third of the half you don't know you don't know so this one would be um no unclear okay then there's going to be a third question which i'm going to have room to write so i'm going to write it quickly guys um let's say we had uh, half class likes hot dogs We're talking about the same class, you guys. Like hampers. So half the class likes hot dogs, a third of the class likes um, hampers. What fraction of the class um, likes either hot dogs, either hot dogs or hamburgers. Um, can we solve that by just going a half plus a third, right? We got a half, we got a third, you just add them up, right? Actually, you guys, this one is a no. Can anybody think why no? You can't solve it that way. Well, what if you had the situation where a kid liked both, right? A kid, one of the kids in the half fraction likes hamburgers too. So that kid that likes hot dogs likes hamburgers. You can't just go a half plus a third because some of the kids might be double counted. So you're not going to get an accurate uh, representation of what fraction likes either one. If they said you had to pick between the two, that's, that's a little different, right? But in this case, no, it's a no because some might, some might like both. Go over this video, you guys.
give the shot a quiz. If you have any questions, just ask. Okay, see ya.